G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, uh, today, as you can see, I've got my WPL D12 in front of me. Now, um, at the at the moment, uh, Perth and WA uh, is in a lockdown at the moment. So, for the, for the remainder of this week, and who knows, possibly that will change to, you know, next week, who knows. But uh, anyway, because I can't go out and uh, review anything, I thought it'd be a good opportunity to show you guys what I'm going to do with my WPL uh, D12, the K truck. Now I reviewed this about a month or so, give or take. And uh, at the time of reviewing this truck, um, I was ordering parts from, you know, from China online, both from AliExpress and Banggood. So there's a bit of a mixture of uh, both vendors there. Uh, and I accumulated the parts. Basically, um, I've been waiting to get all the parts before even making a video like this. So uh, to show you exactly what I'm going to use on this. Uh, on this build now it's going to be a drift build obviously because uh these are pretty cool to drift around even in stock form on these stock tires so um, a lot of guys are actually doing it and i think it's going to be a pretty fun build actually just to put my own custom work into it so uh yeah like i said um the parts are a mixture of from aliexpress and uh banggood for this video and i'll show you what i'm going to use on this truck i only just received my last part that i ordered the other day so i've been waiting over a month for everything to arrive all right guys so anyway let's get into it. i'll show you what uh i've actually got for this build so what we'll do we'll start off with the wheels now i bought these from aliexpress um these particular wheels i don't know if bang would have got them but i'll leave links uh to all these parts guys from aliexpress and banggood if i can find them on banggood um you know i'll leave them in the description so you can check them out yourself but uh here is these uh wheels as you can see they're the standard uh hard rubber or hard plastic i should say for drifting and uh those should look pretty sweet once they're on okay so they're a fair bit bigger than the uh the stock ones as you can see all right now this kit also comes with um with the wheels here it comes with the hub adapters, brass hub adapters, all the little uh, accessories that you need and tools. You've got some Phillips heads, some grub screws as well to fit them on this uh, truck, okay? So you need those adapters to uh, convert from uh, the screw to hex because these are actually just got small Phillips screws. So it has to be converted fitting any aftermarket uh, wheels to the D12 truck, all right? Okay, now onto the body kit here. Now I got this from AliExpress, guys, because um, Banggood did not have the body kits, but now I can see that Banggood do have this style of body kit. So I've got this upside down. So here's the front bumper here, okay? You can see where the little uh, indicators go. And here's the rear okay so that's those two now this one unfortunately this kit arrived a little bit damaged um it's no real big deal to me because i can fix it rather easily but um i did show the vendor how it did arrive and um they did give me a partial refund after showing them how it arrived a bit broken so here are some more accessories here these are your front fender guards so they go around the front wheel arches here okay and a couple of other little brackets here i've got to work out where they go and all the uh screws to fit the whole body kit and um here's the sides i'll show you the good side first here's one of the sides so this is the uh the right hand side of the car of the truck okay so this is the wide body kit and it's got the little grooves there where it fits around the tray. And here are the mounting brackets where the screws go. All right. Actually fits rather well. But as you can see, on the left side of the body kit, it's actually snapped in the weakest point. But uh, I'll have to just glue that. I might use the combination of super glue and UV glue. That's pretty tough glue once it sets. So that's what I'm thinking of doing. I'll super glue it, and then on the back part of it where you're not going to see it, I'll use UV glue or something. So, 
like I said, I got uh, partially refunded for that once I showed the vendor, you know, how it arrived. This box was pretty crushed from AliExpress. <laughs> All right, so that's that. Uh, also bought this from AliExpress. This is just a, a spotlight bar, LED light bar. Can't remember what this cost me, but uh, I'll probably add this to the uh, WPL once it's finished and painted up. And here's the receiver wires for that to go into the receiver. So you can operate that on a, any different channel. I'm going to try to retain the stock ESC if I can, because there are parts like a gyro that I got from Banggood. And I don't know, I, I believe that you can fit it with and make it work with the actual um, stock ESC. But so basically those parts there were from AliExpress that I just showed you. There might be one part in here, maybe that is from AliExpress as well. Let me just get these out. Oh, there's a couple of parts actually. This was from AliExpress as well. This is the upper swing arm. Okay, they're in metal from RBRC. I believe you can get these on Banggood as well. And uh, they come with the accessories there. I forgot to buy the lower swing arms actually. That's one thing that I'll order later on. I forgot to buy these uh, lower swing arms. I'll buy them later on or I'll just paint these up. I don't know yet, but anyway. Um, we've got some disc brakes here. These are from AliExpress. And I actually thought when I ordered these that they were um, plastic. But they're not, they're actually, they're actually metal. They're made out of alloy, which is pretty cool. So these are, you know, as you can see, Brembo brakes. As you can see there, they're metal. And these will actually spin when the wheel's on it. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? So it's <laughs> replicating a real, uh, you know, cross-drilled uh, rotor with a Brembo caliper. So they should look pretty good behind these uh, behind these rims, just like that. Okay. Now I bought these from AliExpress, guys. I don't know if you can get them from Banggood, but uh, I'll definitely put a link to those if you're interested in them for AliExpress. Uh, now this light kit, uh, this is from Banggood, and this is meant to be compatible with the D12. Um, I've actually got a similar light kit to this that I bought ages ago, but I already put on one of my trucks. So it's a full light kit. You got your control box here. Okay, all your little uh, fasteners and accessories there. Your receiver wires, and of course the LED lights in a couple of different colors. So it says realistic LED light kit for cars and trucks, 110 scale and smaller. And uh, no soldering required. So it's all plug and play, 100% plug and play it says here. Response to your radio functioning like actual car lights, powered through your receiver. So there it is all there guys. So uh, I did get this one from Banggood. So we've got uh, white and red LEDs for this one and an orange amber LED as well. So that's it there guys, there's the, uh, well, there's no branding on this one, I thought there might be. But uh, you can get this from Bangor. That's where I got this one from. Okay, now also in that bag, um, I've got the gyro receiver here. This is specifically made for the WPL to t when you turn it into a drift truck. So that's it, it there, guys. You've got your gain as well for sensitivity. Reverse and normal switches there. And here is the receiver um, where the receiver lead goes into for the ESC so yeah that's that guys so that should help uh, get it drifting and going sideways pretty good <laughs> now here is the upgraded metal diff uh, gears guys with the actual diff assembly okay so this is from Banggood as well uh, so is that gyro receiver by the way we've got some oil there or grease I think it's oil yeah we've got some oil in there and all the accessories you need. As you can see, there's brass gears in there. So it's all upgraded from the plastic. You got even the shafts as well. 
okay and the red cover on the back too for the diff cover there so be upgrading the rear end axle with this as well okay now last but not least as far as the parts are concerned is the uh, upgraded 370 motor and metal gearbox guys okay and this is made from rbrc as you can see it's got the rent anodized uh, coating on it just like the uh, upper swing arm kit here so they match okay so um this has got metal gears guys so it's a really good um upgrade from the stock uh, plastic geared gearbox and the smaller motor that comes with this this is a a 370 motor so yeah okay and lastly before i end this video i'd just like to make mention of uh, a great guy that sent me some decals from the uk uh, his name's samax rc so i'll put a link to his channel and uh his facebook page in the description below but uh basically the story about these decals is that when i reviewed this uh suzuki carry truck about a month ago like i mentioned before I joined a few of the D12 WPL groups and because there's so many people uh, doing these into, you know, building these into uh, drift uh, trucks, I noticed quite a few guys were um, putting Suzuki decals, you know, on the front here, on the window and even on the tailgate as well. And basically I just asked the question, I said, hey guys, uh, where do you get these uh, Suzuki, you know, decals from for your builds? And uh, Samax uh, contacted me. And he basically, yeah, he said, hey, Dave, I'll uh, send you some. Just send me the address. So thanks very much, Samax. Uh, I'm going to um, show you guys some of these decals he sent. He sent a quite a few, actually. So I'll put his details, guys. Uh, he's got his own Facebook page. Um, and you could probably get some off him. I think he does sell them. But uh, here's the channel name, Samax RC. So thanks once again, brother, for sending these out. And... Uh, as you can see, he's uh, made a few Suzuki decals here. There's another one from his channel. And he even threw in, he knew I had a MN99S or, you know, D90, my one's called. And he made some Land Rover ones too. I think he does Toyota ones. He does all the, all the MN models and WPL models. He'll make decals for you if you uh, kindly ask him, guys. So... I think he might sell him or you know i don't know you have to ask him guys so a defender uh suzuki so yeah he made quite a few there that i can use on my other my other mn model so thanks very much uh samax i don't sorry i don't know your actual name um but uh thanks once again for sending those out i really do appreciate it. that's really going to finish off uh this build once i paint it up so shout out to samax rc I, I told him I definitely will, uh, you know, mention him in this video. So thanks once again. Like I said, I'll put his uh, his details below if you want to reach out to him yourself. All right, guys. Well, thanks very much for watching. I just wanted to show you uh, some of the parts that I've <laughs> been waiting waiting for for quite a while, over a month uh, to arrive for this D12 build. So that's what I'm going to be doing uh, this week. Uh, video is going to be a bit slower this week because I can't really get out and about unless it's for, you know, necessary purposes like going shopping and so forth. You know the, the whole lockdown rules anyway. So, um, yeah, stay tuned. I'll be chipping away at this one during the week. Um, and what I'll do in the next video, I'll probably just take some photos um, rather than make long videos out of it. I'll probably just take some photos as I go and do a bit of narration. Then I'll show you the final product. All right, guys? So thanks for watching. Uh, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you on the next one. So until then, enjoy the hobby and happy RCing.